Hey everyone, welcome to my video about exterior lighting. Uh, this is one I wanted to do for a while and uh, I think there is some pretty interesting information in it that will help a lot of people out. This is an area that I struggled a lot with uh, in Lumion just because the way the lighting works is not necessarily difficult, but it's not as intuitive as you would uh, necessarily think. So I just have a quick test scene here uh, before I get into the, the bigger scene of where I just kind of go through and do this. Uh, I just wanted to show this quickly because as I said, this is very important of understanding how the uh, Lumion lighting works. If you just try and drop a spotlight into a room, then you're always gonna kind of get these weird shadows uh, like at the top because there's no real lighting up there. Even with hyperlight, I find that you don't really necessarily get that same effect. So the number one tip I can give you for exterior lighting is that you don't actually have to light up the room. You have to light up the wall that you're seeing through the window. If you can just get lights on all the walls and then maybe like the roof or the floor, depending on the actual um, room that, or a building that you're trying to light up, then it'll just look like you have just a normal like light bulb like you would in your room. Um, so yeah, I, I just set up these quick examples. So basically like ignore the stuff on the ground here. That's just from the, the hyper light. Like um, you can kind of get rid of that. But so this one, as you can see, like from this angle, this room is completely lit. Like you would see that. Um, you know, if it was like a, an, out, an outdoor shot looking at that, you would just think the lights are on and like it looks warm inside. And now this is the exact same, um, when you flip to this, this is the exact same one, except you can't even tell if there's lights there. Because if you, um, like if I move over here, then as you can see, it's like if the light is not pointing in that direction, then it won't, uh, it won't do anything. Um, it's... Uh, and yeah, that, that, that is like the, I think the most important thing, um, that you can kind of know about this because I don't like using Omni lights or fill lights or even really area lights for my lighting. I only use the spotlights because, um, I find that using Omni lights is extremely difficult. Like you can't, it's almost like trying to fit a ball perfectly into a rectangle. It just doesn't work. Like you, your corners will look weird or it goes through the walls and you have like light leaks and everything like that. So in my opinion, just don't do it. Like just use the spotlights in the way that I uh, am gonna show you. I think the area lights work pretty well, but I don't like the whole fall off principle in um, Lumion because it doesn't, like if you're gonna have the fall off thing, that's fine, but I don't think Lumion actually has enough tools to help you deal with that. Like an example, this is in Blender. It has, um, not only can you change the brightness, but you can also change the size of the light source. And that helps interact in different ways. But in Lumion, I think you can just change the brightness. So it's like the brighter something gets, uh, the bigger it's gonna, like the area it's gonna affect. So then the fall off can adjust for that. But it's like, it just doesn't, it's not really as necessarily as intuitive because yeah, as I said, like you have fall off, but it doesn't exactly tell you how big the fall off area is. You're just kind of gauging the slider. And I find you just end up spending more time to not really get the effect that you want. So um, we're just gonna hop in uh, another quick scene that I kind of set up to try some of this stuff. Um, and I'm just gonna show you quickly, I guess um, how I would do it now. I don't, uh, we'll, we'll kind of see how we're doing on time. Maybe I'll do the whole building quickly because I, once I set one up, I basically just start dragging them across. Um, and then you can also, uh, I'll just mention this now. Uh, I think somewhere in this, yeah. So I just put these random like blinds up. So you really don't even have to get anything fancy. I think I just got those from the 3D warehouse. Um, but I think that putting those up actually do help your scene a lot because it gives you almost this kind of randomness. Um, when you put it up in front of the window, some of the light is able to kind of get through, like you'll be able to see some of it. So it just looks like someone is in the room with like their blinds pulled down. And as I said, yeah, it looks a lot more realistic. I also, um, I normally just throw in some random furniture like this um, because like but you want to see something inside of the um, inside of like the, the window but you don't really need it like that much like I think in the one above I just yeah like I just put some uh, I just put some like photos like that in just to make it like have more of this like effect of like someone living there so um, I guess we have nothing lit up so you can't see it so we'll come back to that in a minute but um, let me just position this here. Okay, so. Uh, what I'll do is I'll just drag this up like here. Uh, rotate. 
bring that here and I'll, oops that was actually already pointing the right direction I don't know why I changed that um, but yeah so maybe I'll pull this pull, pull this down a little bit and I'll pull it back so something like that um, now if we just go in here and click it so you know that's not perfect yet it's way too bright but as you can see just by using that one light that like that part of the room looks lit up and you're not getting those weird light leaks uh, I mean, I guess you kind of over here, but again, like that's hyperlight. If we go here and it like the higher the hyperlight is, the more you kind of get that effect there. So you can uh, sort of minimize that. But I, I think that if you have the whole building lit up, it doesn't actually matter that much. Um, so uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to drag this down to like 40. Like that's really all you need because you want it to... Uh, you want it to light up the apartment, actually maybe a little bit higher than that. You want it to light it up, but you also don't want it to kind of overpower the colors that are in there. So things like the couch, if you can just kind of see it, like that uh, that still has like some uh, some color in it. Whereas if you just put on like a thousand, it just nukes the color out of it and it just looks like it's uh, overexposed. Uh, the other thing you can do too is that you can kind of drag this light up, make it like a little bit yellow. Uh, and it just gives it like a bit of a warmer look, even like maybe a little a bit higher than that. Yeah, so you can give it kind of like an orangey glow. All right, so now we're gonna start just duplicating this light source. Um, pull this up. And maybe I'll just actually hop outside. Yeah, and what's nice about this is it doesn't have to be perfect because um, since the spotlights have, like it actually casts shadows, if you want it just like you put it against the wall um, and then if it if it hits the wall, like it'll stop there. Whereas with some of the other lights, it'll just keep going through, and you have to keep adjusting it. Um, and I just find yeah, I just find the spotlight's way more intuitive to use. So if we hop back here, we click this. So um, as you can see, like it is starting to come together. That we'll have to do this side as well. But these windows here look, in my opinion, like perfect. Like we could probably put some like more pictures on there, and uh, you know maybe like some more furniture to make it like look more alive. But it's. Um, they just come together. We'll flip these around, and then I'll also put some on the roof. Um, and as I mentioned, the hyperlight can just kind of help you like fill in those areas. Um, it since it like it, it's kind of like fake light bounces. Um, so yeah, for this area, you just need to make it look like light is hitting everything. And I think we'll move this over here a little bit more. And then we'll copy this one more time. And I'm going to flip this one upside down. Yeah, it's good enough. Okay, so move this up. As you see, like I'm just doing this to get like the roof in there. So we'll drag this one up one more time. We'll just make sure that that worked. Okay. So yeah, it's, um, I'll just go through and quickly do the other ones because once you kind of have one room set up, you can just keep dragging them over. It does not have to be perfect. This is like, you know, you could go through and be a little more meticulous about it. You could make it so that the spotlights, you, you're not getting like bright in any other rooms. Like as I did mention, like, you know, this does work a lot better um, if you do kind of take the time to set it up than the, the fill lights do. Um, but you still do kind of get those light leaks like an example though is like if you just uh, You turn this off then as you can see like the light leaks do go away So you don't have to use the the hyper light I find that it does help just kind of fill in those gaps a bit But the majority of the legwork is done by the spotlights and I think that looks really good So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna quickly uh, go through these and then we're just gonna see how that uh, Turns out so I'll put timestamps in the video. I don't think that this will take me much longer than like a couple of minutes Um so yeah, I'll just drag these on through. And if you don't uh, wanna watch me do it, then I will uh, just let you know where you can uh, skip ahead to. These here, just gonna quickly see how this is looking. Yeah, and like, as you can see, I literally just copy them over and then it just all works because you're not gonna get any like, anything kind of coming through the walls. So even if um, you put these in like really messy places all over the place, then it's not really gonna affect it that much. And 
drag this like around here. Something uh, that's kind of worth mentioning too is like, as you can see, um, right on like this part here, as I'm moving it around, like the spotlights can kind of go out the window. So you can sort of get this like um, effect of like the light coming outside of the windows and you will get those shadows, but you can kind of just adjust it to get that, you know, if you want that effect, then uh, it's easy to do. But if you don't want it, then you don't have to uh, have it. Now this one um, on the end, um, it can be a little bit tricky because you can get the, um, like this area here, but when I was doing this the first time, I found that it's like sometimes good to just get almost like two spotlights in these ones so that it hits this and it kind of makes it look, um, as I said, like everything is on. Um, I, I was finding that when I did it the first time, it just wasn't uh, wasn't looking right um, because I, I like this part of the window was um, had no lights on it. So that's something to keep in mind as well. Um, so let's just see. Uh, Maybe actually, yeah, I do have to drag this back a little bit. So I'm only going to grab these ones once. I'm going to drag them back. Just so it's like right, right about there. Okay, so let's see how this looks. Yeah, so I think that that's, um, that's looking pretty good. So we'll do the other side now. Um, but as I said, like just considering that we're just copy and pasting spotlights, um, I think that that turns out pretty well. Like it's, if you're really like in a bind and you want to do, um, exteriors fast then it's a it's a pretty cool little trick um, I don't know how many people actually do this like that um, it's I have seen a couple of people where they just you know light up the wall but I have some uh, seen some people actually go through and they they really do light up the whole room like the using omni light spotlights all that stuff but I, I just think that this is a lot faster um, and it's a little more like I guess it's easier for beginners because all you have to do is like select what you want hold alt and drag it over and then you know, it's like if you go back into photo mode, like that other parts are like pretty much ready to go too. And yeah, this is what I was kind of talking about. So you can have light coming out the window there. Like if that's if that's the effect you want, then leave it there. Like the closer you are to the window, obviously the more it's going to come out of it. But uh, if you don't like that, then you can just like come in here and move this closer to the wall. Um, so where were these ones? Yeah, like we're going to drag these over this way more. Yeah, and then that looks pretty good. So yeah, we'll finish this up and uh, we'll just kind of see how the final product turns out. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's just um, like, I don't even really know where the walls are. I'm just dragging random ones out and it's, it's pretty forgiving. So let's see how that, uh, if there's any problem areas. Yeah, so I don't really like how that's like down at the end there. Everything else to me looks pretty good. Um, I just want to fix that, those kind of like lights right here. So it'd be the ones closest to this. So this one, I think I can just delete these out. And um, this, okay, so here's actually a good example. So down at the end here, uh, everything, like these ones worked really well, but these ones didn't. And that's because I didn't put the lights close enough uh, to this wall. So yeah, these ones you kind of have to, um, oops, it's in delete mode. You have to be a little bit careful with these ones because like it's a little more um, like finicky. Um, if I drag these over here, let's just see if that worked a little bit better. Um, yeah, I think that's good enough. Um, if you're looking through like a window, as I said, and at a wall, it's very easy. You just light up the, uh, like you, you just have to light up the wall. But if you are looking through the window, like another like patio door or something like that, just move the light source uh, close to it. And then just try and illuminate like the whole frame because that'll normally be enough to trick people. Uh, I think this is also a really good time to point out as well. Oh, I think I missed, uh, I think I missed a window there. So we'll check that in a second, but look at the blinds here. Um, so that's kind of what I mean about it adding sort of like a randomness to it. And it uh, makes it look a little more real, a little not, not as like uh, standard. 
um, across all of the places. So I could have lit up the bottom floor as well, but I think that just for the purpose of this, uh, the top floor was enough. And um, yeah, so I think that that, uh, that turned out pretty well. And it's a, yeah, as I said, it's like, it's a pretty quick um, tip. Once you actually start getting like going with it, you could do a huge building in like 10 minutes. All you have to do is like basically just find the walls you want the first time and just keep dragging them over. And it's a pretty forgiving, uh, pretty forgiving way. I am actually just going to fix this, uh, this last part over here. And uh, that should be about it. So um, yeah, want to uh, thank everyone who checked out this video. Hopefully this helps some people out because I know that this, um, if I had known this trick, like right off the bat, ah, well, that's not, uh, that's not perfect, but I'll, I'll fix it uh, for the thumbnail. So yeah, I know. Um, yeah, I know this is a pretty, uh, an area that a lot of people have actually asked me to make a video about on how I do it. And this really may not be the best way. I'm not sure um, what the best way of doing it is. I think at the end of the day, it's really just what works for you. Like if, if this trick is gonna give you uh, the exterior lighting that you want, then, um, you know, use it. Or if there's one that, um, you know, you see other people using it, it just makes more sense and you can use that one as well. Personally, this is the fastest, uh, exterior light or way to do exterior lighting. Um, I will be releasing another video about exterior lighting as well. Um, except with that one, I want to focus on the effects. This one was just strictly uh, focusing on how to actually place the lights. Um, so yeah, if this is the first time you stop by one of my videos, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that uh, subscribe button, or maybe this is uh, not the first time you stop by the channel. I'd also still appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. If you have hit the subscribe button already, then I want to thank you very much for supporting the channel and I will see you in one of my future videos. Have a good night, guys.